you're going to have a husband who has no idea what to do in his life with his family. Da, da. He's going to watch the film. You're going to have, you know, the brother or the sister who always is trying to be happy and like, everything's going to be all right. Like, you're going to have all of these people watching the film. Let's talk to them. Edwin, I loved Parallel. I thought it was a fantastic film. The movie's a very intimate sci-fi story that will keep you on your toes the whole time. And I almost forgot there's three people in the movie only. Uh, Aldis, Danielle, Dead Wilder uh, plays, uh, they, they play They play Alex and Vanessa, uh, who are a grieving couple who lost their son. And you play their brother, Mart or you play Aldis's brother, Martel. Tell us a little bit more about the story. Yeah, in a nutshell, um, you know, we we find this couple, um, you know, in, in in turmoil. They just they lost a son a year ago, so they're dealing with the the year anniversary of it. Um, they decide to go out to to the the brother's house, you, you know, and, and kind of get a little reprieve. And um, you know, that's 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 where everything gets a little little crazy. She uh, she she goes out into the forest, and when she comes back. Her brother-in-law and her uh, her husband aren't her husband and brother-in-law anymore, um, and, and so you, you know it, it it becomes a story of of once again loss, pain. Um, you know she she is in search of her original space, um, you know, and at the same time, a new goal kind of kind of forces her to kind of <laughs> switch, switch her directives, you know, and, um, you know, that's where it takes a, a much bigger turn for the audience. Um, but the, the, the story in itself, man, it's, it's, it's about pain, loss and, and, and redemption. This felt very like Twilight Zone or Black Mirror to me. What were some of the influence when you and your brother were writing this film? I don't think I pulled from like specific, uh, projects as far as inspiration. Um, sure. as far as, the film is concerned. We we'd watch the original version, uh, Parallel Forest, Li Zhang, uh, by directed and written by Li Zhang. And it, the the goal for us was actually just to pay that that film its respect. Gotcha. Right? We, we love that story. We you know we wanted to tell that story, but you know obviously kind of you know switch it up to to identify with what what we wanted to do. But we didn't want to. Yeah, we didn't want to divert too much from it. We wanted to keep it three people, uh, you know, two locations, the forest, the the house. Um, but what what was going to be the evolution of that that story? And so, um, you know, watching the, the the first the original film, um, Aldis, Jonathan Keezy, who's another co-writer, and I, we all sat down and um, you know, it's it's it was more like how can we accentuate what's already been there. Sure. Right. And how long how long has that idea been in your head to, to want to adapt parallel? That project came to me, actually, to be honest with you. Um, yeah, no, a, a buddy of mine, um, my, bro, my my boy, Jalen Moore, um, we worked on a project called Six Together as Actors. He's now a producer as well. He uh, wanted to pitch the project to my brother and I uh, uh, to star in it. And, um, you know, we watched the original film. We were like, yeah, we got the first two scripts. We weren't too keen on it. And so then um, I was asked to to write it. Um, I, the uh, producing partners um, were given a script of mine that I'd written and they they liked my writing style. So they, they wanted me to write it. Um, I, I said yes, hesitantly. And then uh, I, I called my brother and I uh, said, "Yo, this is this is kind of the deal right now. Do you want to do you want to write it with me?" Because he he had the, the story in his head more so. Like wow. it, was, it was much more technical than it was, or than than what you guys see now, as far as using time and astronomy and things of that nature. And and he had that in his head. So I was like, "You give me all that, and I'm gonna just do all this, and then right. we'll, you know we'll make it work." You know. Um, uh, and so in theory, that's what we did. Um, we, we, we took two and a half months um, and uh, we just we, we kind of just hashed out the, the story that that's presented to you guys now. Um, but yeah, that, it, yeah, it was just more so how, how can we make this stuff different? I don't want to pull from anything else. I don't want to. But what what is our own? Like, what, what is our own vintage? you know and that's that's where we kept it you and your brother are also producers on this film correct me if i'm wrong but this is your first time producing a project of this nature on your own is that right yeah yeah we uh we had just started our uh production company uh in in april 2020 
2022, I think. Um, we had just started our, our production company, and then this this project landed on our laps. I, I want to say started like early June, uh, like early June, late June, and um, y- you know when 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 God opens the door for you, you you, you just got to walk in, no matter how scared you are. And um, I, th- I think that's what this 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 moment was. So yeah, it's our first project under under the Hodge Brothers Productions umbrella. Um, and uh, yeah, we we got we got a, a few more things in line right now. Oh, I can't wait because I was drawn in immediately by this. And when I don't want to give anything away, but when certain things happen, I was I was just so tuned in. Like, dude, what's gonna happen next? What's going on here? You know what I mean? Now, you understand, like what this is doing to my soul right now. Like, oh, I is, loved it. Like, <laughs> I love this. I love stuff like this. Yeah. Like, Twilight Zone. This is right up my alley. Yeah. Now, this film is directed by Karosh. Is that right? Karosh. Yeah, Karosh right? Ahari. Karosh Ahari. Uh, yeah. Ahari. Uh, yeah. What made him the right choice to direct this project? And what is di- what did his directing style add to, to, to Parallel? In search of a director, um, my agent, uh, my agent uh, Chris was like, "Hey, you know, we we have this guy. We think he's, you know, he'd be perfect." And uh, his name was pitched. And uh, I just recently, I'd watched this film, The Night, um, and just the, the directing style, the use of colors, uh, his frames. Um, it just it really kind of it resonated with me and 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 the vision I had for you know, for this movie, um, just, you, you know, the tone and textures. And, and so, um, yeah, gave the film to, uh, to my brother, he watched it and, you, you know, we, we, we had the meeting with, with Karush and, um, yeah, we, we got it off from there. <laughs> I love this story because it's so layered. The, the reason why Vanessa goes into the woods to be off on her own makes total sense to me. And even her journey throughout the course of the film, is absolutely amazing. Now, there's been so many takes on multiverse multiverse theory from Marvel, DC, every, everywhere, or everything, everywhere, all at once. Uh, why is this story the one that stood out to you when it comes to the multiverse storytelling? And do you believe in the multiverse theory yourself? Yes, the multiverse. I, I just believe there are things outside of our realm that are much bigger than us. I believe, uh, y- you know, that there's galaxies upon galaxies of of life out there. We're not the only planet. Uh, and the idea that, you know, there could be multiverses uh, didn't just come from nowhere. None right. of these ideas just sprout from nowhere. We may see the evolution of it like 30 or 40 years later, you know, but somebody had a dream, somebody had a vision, somebody had something that brought forth this idea. So, uh, yeah, I, I, I do believe. Um, uh what what as far as this film is concerned you you know with all the multiverse movies and and whatnot uh the one objective was to just keep this grounded in 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 a a sense of realism um you, you know this is three very regular people um who happen to be in a a very weird obscure like situation right and i kind of just wanted to keep it there i wanted to keep like I didn't want to add any other like supernatural elements to sure. the film. There was no reason to add any supernatural elements to the film or anything of that nature because I believe the scary part of the film is the idea that this situation could be real, that you could walk out and come home and your cousin ain't your cousin no more, right? But he looks the same and he talks the same, and you know, so it's just like that's that's where I wanted to keep it. Um, you know, Al was right on line with that John and team, everybody was right on line with that. Um, and so, you know, with, with that idea in mind, the goal was to really allow the audience to participate in the experience versus just watching the experience. You know, Absolutely. We wanted the audience to feel like, cause yes, um, you know, and God bless, but you're going to have a grieving mother who's going to watch the film. You're going to have a husband who has no idea what to do in his life with his family. Da-da. He's going to watch the film. You're going to have, you know, the brother or the sister who always is trying to be happy and like, everything's going to be all right. Like you're going to have all of these people watching the film. Let's talk to them. Absolutely. It's so funny. I talk to my girlfriend about this uh, multiverse theory all the time. Now I can just show her this movie because I feel like it kind of sums up what I always try to explain to her. Now, uh, if you want out this 
uh, could tackle a more established franchise, say like a Hawkman solo movie or whatever it may be. Would you guys like to explore that at all? I would say for me personally, no. Um, okay. I want to create my own, right? I want to, I want to, I want to be the the person that the next person or the next director or writer is going to get inspiration from, right? So the only way I feel that can be achieved is if I actually create, build, my own personal image and vision. I know for Hodge Brothers Productions itself, we're all about IP, original content. We're not, we're not, we're not trying to latch on and really, you know, take on other people's franchises. We have, uh, we got, you know, novels that we 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 like. We, you know, um, graphic novels, which are not that we like. We're, uh, you know, going to turn turn that into a TV show. Um, but yeah, we, we're gonna we're gonna make our own franchise, man. I, like that's I think that's that's how you make your your staple. You know, Lucas and Star Wars, uh, Spielberg with you, you know just his whole entire career. Um, we we got to make our own name for ourselves, and and we can't do that if we latch on to somebody else's. Couldn't agree with you more. Now, Edwin, congratulations on FBI's Most Wanted. Uh, it's back for its fifth season. For fans of the show, tell me how we see Ray and Cora's relationship throughout the course of this season evolve yeah so you know obviously it's button uh you know they're uh they're moving in you know Cora's meeting the father so uh i'm i'm pretty sure wedding bells or something like that's going to be in the near future i'm not really sure the the writers haven't uh privy me to it yet um but you know for for what i can tell you you, you know he he's very grounded in his his love for her, uh his love for for uh, her son, you know, I, I think I, I think that's actually one of the the biggest uh, deal sealers in, in the in the entire relationship is the son. You, you know, he really identifies with wanting to help, you know, nurture this kid and and you know push him forward. Um, and, and that's a reflection of his relationship with his father. You, you know, his father was was you know there even when he wasn't. Um, but. It, at no point was there any, you know, love loss, you know, um, he was so inspired that he actually became an FBI agent himself. So, you know, it was a great relationship and I, I think he feels he'll be able to manage and, and do the same thing, you, you know, um, in his life, but, you know, it might, it might come with some, uh, some trying moments. So we'll see what happens. Well, look, Edwin, Thank you so much for your time, man. I love this movie. Like I said, it's right up my alley. If you guys keep producing films like this, bangers all the time, my friend. We got you. We got you. We got you, brother. Thank you. Yeah, every step of the way, I was captivated. It's brilliantly designed, man. I love this film. Fantastic job. Thank you, man. Appreciate it. Thanks, Evan. I appreciate your time, brother. All right, you too. 